Let's do the rewind. One big man who's not getting a lot of love, Robert Carter Jr. Strong game against UVA in the win for Georgia Tech. Oh, absolutely. The big young fella came with it, especially in the second half and was able to get them this victory. Great play in the interior by the big young guy. That's the second conference win for Georgia Tech. Another team that got its second conference win, Boston College over Clemson. Oh, absolutely. Joe Rahan was perfect from outside. Well, almost perfect. A career high 26 point, but six for seven from the threes. That was what really did it for Boston College. He's having a fantastic all around freshman year. He also had four rebounds and four assists in that game. North Carolina held off Virginia Tech in overtime. Yeah, big game by Marcus Page. Shook off the bad game he had last week. Came back with a career high 19 points and eight in the overtime victory for the Heels. Won five out of the last six. Tar Heels playing well. Duke gets a big win dominating Florida State. Yeah, Jeff, this wasn't even close. They led from the beginning. And uh, the great guard play led by Seth Curry's 21 points. Quinn Cook, 18 points. Great all-around perimeter play. Uh, they didn't really need uh, Mason Plumley. A balanced effort from the Terps in the win over Wake Forest. Yes, they get off the snide a little bit here. Their offense has been a little sagging of late, but they were able to come and get a good all-around performance from everyone six players and double figures so a 16 point win for the Terps and what a game in Raleigh Miami had chances to put away the Wolf Pack but struggled from three point range then down one with the ball the final seconds Reggie Johnson tipped in the follow with 0.8 left to give the Canes a 79 78 win Miami now 17 and three overall 8-0 in the ACC. JR, break down that game-winning basket for me. Well, Jeff, it was great. You know, they gave themselves the opportunity to be in it. They get put the ball in their best ball handler's hands. I mean, Larkin did the rest here. They run a great set. A double high pick and roll. He can choose the other way to go. Comes off Reggie. Johnson, he rolls into the post to the front of the rim where you know he's going to be. Scott Wood has to hold him to his defender, gets back to Reggie. But when Scott leaves and goes to that three-point line, Reggie is the bigger dog here, and he's bigger than Richard Howell, and he eats first. And he's able to get a great tip in. Just great position. And look, oh, great oh, rebounders all have the equalizer. Here. That's a little equalizer, you know? <laughs> and that's all just a little tap, a little love tap. And then he was able to finish with a nice tip in with the left hand and a sensational win for Miami, who's just playing phenomenal basketball. Miami's right? number two in the country in RPI. Only Duke is ahead. That's wow. right. The ACC is one and two in RPI. Could we see the ACC get two number one seeds? Saturday was just Reggie Johnson's fourth game back after missing several games with a broken thumb. You can see Coach Jim Laranega increasing his minutes, and Reggie is increasing his production. A non-factor, really, in that 27-point win over Duke. Saturday, a great game against the Wolfpack. 15 points, eight rebounds with Kenny Kaji, Julian Gamble, and Reggie Johnson. Miami causes all kinds of matchup problems yes. for every team in the country.